is August. That means a fresh new batch of students will be coming to the National University of Singapore. And the first thing that most of them will ask when arriving at Kentridge MRT is... Which bus should I take? Is Kai, let's talk about the internal shuttle bus services in NUS. This is the latest service map made by the Office of Campus Amenities in collaboration with Brian Cheng, the ISB man. And these are the bus routes for each service. It's so easy to figure out what to take to reach your destination with these maps. And the Freshman Orientation Program's website even so graciously provides them to help students navigate around... Oh. Yeah, it's kind of outdated. Also, this map is very well done. There is good spacing and gentle curves, all beneficial for fast recognition. But what if you don't know the acronyms? What are the stops near certain faculties? And what's around the stops? Also, what about the public bus service lines? Well, we'll be covering those in this video. Before that, here is my take on the service map. It is much more complex, but it includes faculties that are near to the stops, the three public bus lines that go throughout the campus, and I've included full names in the map as much as possible. Well, except for the extremely long names. Also, it is available in glorious dark mode. Pause the video, take screenshots, I hope this helps you guys out. Now, on to the stops. Kent Ridge MRT. Most students will come to campus through this station. Going right immediately after exiting the gantry leads to the NUH Medical Center. There are many dining options like Burger King, Starbucks, Hugs Coffee, Subways, Crave, and even a Kopitiam at the top level for the more budget conscious. Exiting the station, turning right, and then going left up a slope would get you to the bus stop, and going through the underpass would get you to the bus stop opposite. The National University Hospital is also right next to the station, so med students can beat the crowd, walk along this route for 7 to 10 minutes, and reach their faculty instead of needing to cram with the rest of us. The Faculty of Science is also connected and you can get to it easily with another couple minutes of walking, though at that point you can just take a pass to LT27 or the opposite stop at 17. Walking around a car park would lead you to Frontier, the science faculty canteen. It is absolutely massive with both open air and air conditioned stalls, gong cha, 9 fresh desserts, and an arise and shine. The next stop up a small hill is University Hall or S12 on public buses. Why the two names? Cause this stop is just right outside block S12. Going up a bit and turning in, you can head to a multi-storied car park. And walking up the small staircase by the side of it would lead you up to LT32 in the shortest time possible. So now, why is it called University Hall? Well, that is the building just a bit further. It's actually closer to the opposite stop, which can be accessible through these two zebra crossings. If you're wondering what kind of building this is, well, I have as well, which is why I went in and checked it out. Turns out it's just a very cool looking office building. Levels 5 to 7 are locked out, but... Hey, good view, and you get a wall full of important figures. Pretty neat if you ask me. Next stop is University Health Center, where you can get health checkups if you're feeling unwell, and also get counseling sessions with the professional in-house counselors. Not like in primary or secondary schools. Just note the long lead times, they're quite understaffed. The opposite stop is right there, across the road. Also nearby is the University Sports Center, with a whole lot of sports facilities like both outdoor and indoor Olympic-sized swimming pools, a full-size field with running tracks, squash courts, tennis courts, multi-purpose sports halls, a gym, and a rock climbing wall. Outside of it is a roundabout, where we will spot Yusuf Ishak House bus stop and its opposite stop. YIH is where you can settle some admin stuff, and there are F&B options like Koi Tea and a canteen, with Flash Coffee and 7-Eleven nearby. Unfortunately, Subways and Old Chunky close down during the term break. The opposite stop is a short walk away from the Faculty of Engineering as well. Moving on is Central Library, with the Chinese Library and FASS AS8 also right next to it. The opposite stop, IT, is quite the track away, but it is connected with Engineering Block E5. Powering your studies are the Coffee Roaster and Max Coffee. NUS Co-op is also here, which is where I found the non-sponsor for this video, Curated Culture. They aren't sponsoring this, I just found the drinks to be cool and delicious and I thought I'd share with you all as well. Curated Culture is a healthy beverage startup made by NUS alumni as an alternative to kombucha. It comes in three flavors, rebus, asam tea, and green tea. All cold brew, so it's extremely smooth and easy to drink. There are only three simple ingredients, the tea, xylitol, and probiotics that are good for gut health. They're sugar-free, gluten-free, caffeine-free for rebus, and they are all vegan. It costs $6.80 per bottle, but if you buy it in a bundle of four, you get a discounted price of $24. You can also get a weekly subscription, built monthly, for a further 20% off. Order now at curatorculture.com or at a NUS co-op near you. Now, back to the video.
Kent Ridge Terminal. I can't really film here because it's owned by SBS Transit, but just know that there are a lot of bus services that start here. Also nearby is Supper Stretch, which has the famous Fengsheng Nasi Lama and Al Laman. Nearby at the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences is Ventus, an office innovation testbed building. It is located close to LT13 and AS3, with the opposite bus stop named LT13 much further away. Right over there. It is quite close to use of hall, while Temasek Hall next to it is closer to AS5 bus stop, which is also a small walk away from FASS Canteen, the deck. Further up the hill is the Faculty of Computing and COM2 bus stop. COM2 is the central building in computing with bro working there every day. The next stop is at opposite NUSS, which is a club for NUS graduates. There is a clubhouse over here in Kent Ridge campus alongside the Straw Foundation Alumni House. Behind the bus stop is a car park which leads to Temasek Hall right there in the distance. The next stop is opposite HSSML or Hong Sui Sen Memorial Library. It is currently under renovation. The opposite bus stop, BIS2, is located right here underneath the building and immediately after the zebra crossing. Up next is a newly built building, COM3. The opposite stop, which is the starting point of D1, is right there across the street with COM4 currently under construction. It is connected to the neighbouring business faculty through adjacent BIS2, which we saw earlier, and is directly next to the rest of computing. The entrance of COM3 is right by the COM2 bus stop and entrance. The first thing you'll be able to see is the new computing canteen, the terrace. It is quite big, enough to accommodate future increases in student numbers, and while it's still under construction, it should be ready latest by semester 2 or early next year. Back to Biz 2, we'll go up a different direction and head to the Industry Research Zone, with many different organizations doing research, and one having a bus stop, being TCOMS, or the Technology Center for Offshore and Marine Singapore. Heading past that are yet more research buildings, with a nuclear safety research building currently under construction, as you can see to the right of the screen. This is a very long stretch with other smaller research centers scattered throughout, but at the end of it, you can see Prince George's Park Residences or PGPR. The next stop we'll reach is PGPR Terminal, which is located over here. There's a way up to KE7 Hall close by the terminal, and if you want to get to the main entrance of PGPR, which is the opposite bus stop, you can take this rather lengthy sheltered walkway instead of navigating around all the buildings. There isn't much to cover about U-Town other than that there are quite a few hostels here and you might be taking a few lessons here from time to time, but an alternative bus stop for people in residential colleges is the Yale and US College Public Bus Stop. There are a few public buses that would take you around the campus from here. Raffles Hall Bus Stop. You can take public buses to outside of campus from here and it is the bus stop opposite of Museum, which you can get to by crossing the street over here. Museum Bus Stop. Many services, both public and internal, cover this stop. Watch Dago's video for all the interesting stuff that you can do here. NUS Faculty of Design and Environment and the opposite bus stop over there are public bus stops. At opposite corners of the intersection, they are near design schools SDE4, so I'll just call them SDE4 and opposite SDE4. It's Singapore's first newly built energy neutral building, so hey, the more you know. Going down yet another long stretch is another stop around design school. This time round, it is SDE3, an old building with a retrofitted facade. The public bus stop name is NUS Faculty of Architecture, which is indeed next to the stop, and the stop opposite it is Tentera Diraja Mosque, which is located nearby. But in our case, we'll just call them SDE Tree and opposite SDE Tree. The next stop is also a bit away, this time in the neighboring Faculty of Engineering. The bus stop is called NUS Faculty of Engineering, which is again indeed next to the stop. And the opposite stop is called the Japanese Primary School because that is nearby. It is near Block EA, which I have covered before in a previous video on exploring the engineering faculty. In the last of the walking stretch is a stop that is serviced by two lines, K and E. This is Kenville, which has several blocks housing foreign staff and conference attendees. It has both high-rise modern apartments and low-rise mansion style apartments. The bus stop is located outside of the premises, but it does go in and loop around the roundabout before going back out and heading to campus. What is remaining are the bus stops at Bukit Timah campus, and going there once is more than enough for me, so I'll make use of Google Maps for the last few. Oi Tiong Ham building, which is the entrance to the Faculty of Law, is where I dropped off in this video six months ago. The next stop for internal shuttle bus systems would be Botanic Gardens pickup and drop off point. It is at exit B of the MRT station. The bus would then loop around further ahead under the flyover to get to the final stop of this video, College Green. This is yet another residence, this time around it's terrace houses and is more targeted to overseas law graduate students. And there you have it, all the bus stops of note in NUS Kent Ridge and Bukit Timah campuses. Now, here are all the bus routes in quick succession. A1, A2, D1, D2, K1, 
KE, BTC, L, 95, 96, and 151. Again, here is the official NUS system map, and here is my version. If you want to know what to take to go where, I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out yourself with all this newfound information. Happy matriculation and welcome to 4 years of college. It's Kai, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.